Another person pleads guilty on a drug planting scheme in Murray County. The attorney for the victim in this case alleges former Murray Magistrate Judge Bryant Cochran orchestrated the stop. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us back from federal court in Rome with the latest piece of this corruption puzzle. John. Well, Natalie and Calvin, it's obvious the federal government is targeting former Murray Magistrate Judge Bryant Cochran. But as of tonight, prosecutors will not say that, and Cochran has not been charged with anything. But today's guilty plea by another player in this scheme sheds even more light. Clifford Joyce pleads guilty this morning to conspiracy to distribute methamphetamine. The government says it would prove he planted the meth on Angie Garmley's car last summer. He lived in a mobile home owned by former Murray Magistrate Judge Bryant Cochran. Joyce's attorney explained his part in the conspiracy. My client is not a direct link to the judge. There are intervening folks in between. That other civilian we know has possibly destroyed uh, evidence in this case that would have been a direct link. So we're very interested now in the government talking to that person. Before the stop, Garmley went to the judge on a legal matter. She claims he made sexual overtures and she complained to the Judicial Qualifications Commission. The government said in court it would prove that. Other details came out in the plea this morning about the stop. Former Murray Deputy Josh Greason stopped the car at the direction of his captain. They noticed that Greason's dog never made a hit on her car. He never made a hit on her car. They put the dog in the back of the police car. And we learned today that Captain Henderson, uh, Judge Cochran's cousin, helped Greason find this magnetic box with uh, methamphetamine under the wheel well. This afternoon, the attorney for Cochran says he had absolutely nothing to do with planting any drugs on Garmley's car. But the government isn't finished. A FBI agent put it well to me. He said, we grind slow, but we grind fine. And, and I know exactly what he meant by that when he told me that last summer. Now, Bryant Cochran has denied all allegations. Meanwhile, Clifford Joyce, who pleaded this morning, is scheduled for sentencing in August. He is cooperating fully with the government in any future cases. Natalie. All right. Thank you, John. To recap, three people have now pleaded guilty in this conspiracy case. This morning, Clifford Joyce admitted to planning the drugs on Angie Garmley's car. In April, former Deputy Josh Greason admitted to lying to the GBI in its investigation. Now, the month before, his former Captain Cochran's cousin Michael Henderson pleaded guilty to obstructing this civil rights investigation by tampering with a witness. And the government is expected to target another conspirator soon.